Hello and welcome to a playthrough of The Legend of Zelda, The uh, Majora's Mask. Why did I say The? I'm still thinking of Minish Cap. I apologize. Anyway, uh, this commentary is actually being recorded live as I'm playing, so yeah. The reason I actually did Minish Cap um, post commentary was because, well, I need to work on audio and I think my audio is better now, so I'm going to do this live from here on out. And here's the ever-famous intro of Majora's Mask. With the creepy as hell <laughs> mask man. Or salesman. He doesn't wear a mask. He just sells them. Now, I'm not going to skip the intro because, well, this intro really captures what Majora's Mask is about. It captures that creepy feeling that Majora's Mask has. Because unlike every other Zelda game, this game is really, really creepy. Has a lot of creepy moments in it when you really uh, look at it. Now, what I always find surprising when actually thinking about Majora's Mask is that it was made in about a year. Like after they finished Ocarina of Time, they said, or they were gonna make a game in about a year, and they did. And it's quite, and it's probably one of my favorite games in the uh, series. It's either this game or Wind Waker that's my absolute favorite, but I'm not sure. Because I always keep switching between the two. Also, I find it amazing how much uh, music is in this game that's new. Koji Kondo really did an excellent job with the soundtrack of this game. So, let's begin, shall we? Creepy as heck music. Oh yeah, that's another thing about the music. I still haven't figured out all the instruments. You know, well, I should tell you this from the beginning. Uh, when I play, uh, when I ever I play a Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, or any Legend of Zelda game, I always analyze the music because I want to figure out like um. Oops. Eh, controller's being slippery. There we go, that's better. Anyways, when I'm, uh, whenever I'm analyzing a Zelda game, I always like analyze the music, try and figure out what instruments they use. And with Majora's Mask, I've never been able to figure out what exactly the sounds are made by. Because I'm always interested uh, in, like, I'm always interested in seeing remixes of songs like this, because there's really an awesome types of sounds these games have. Anyways, uh, yeah. Pretty much this is recapping after Ocarina and such. Again, I'm not sure what it means by this. He's looking, it's a secret and personal journey looking for a friend. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's searching for exactly. What do you think Link's searching for? Because some people have said it's Navi, because Navi just leaves right at the end of Ocarina. She just flies out the window and that's it. That could be it, but I'm not sure. And already the ga the game uh, starts off starts off a little uh, gloomy with this foggy force and everything. Link just sort of looking sleepy as he rides his horse, and of course the two fairies of this story. Now, the first time I actually played Majora's Mask was back in uh, when it came out on the Nintendo 64, but I only rented it and I didn't really understand it. Actually, let me go back. Okay. First game I actually played ever was Majora's Mask. I didn't 
know how to play it, so I got lost really early and I couldn't really beat it. The second Zelda game I played was Wind Waker on the GameCube, and I got through that, and then I started playing the rest of the series. Eventually, I came back to Majora's Mask on this GameCube edition and beat it here. And yeah, here's the Skull Kid, abusing the powers of Majora's Mask for little pranks and little bits of thievery. Well, the ocarina was thrown to a river, and it wasn't washed away. And Link's been thrown around like crazy in the other games, so I don't think the ocarina would break. <laughs> I don't know, that sort of makes me laugh a little time, the sort of classic cartoon thing like, What? I didn't steal your thing. What are you looking at? I don't know. I always like the little cartoon-like gags. Anyways. He also steals our horse. Ugh. Yep, and there he goes. Now we have to chase after him. Come on, Link, get up. See, so yeah, of course, we already have control of this and stuff. Huh, already got five rupees. Here's a cool little portion uh, that shows Link's jumping. Yeah, that's a cool little jumping animation. And now this scene. Then all these little things appear. They look like masks, Dekus, Majora Mask, a clock, a Goron Mask, a Zora Mask. Hmm. I think it's pretty much showing you the mask you can expect to get as the game progresses. And then there's this weird scene. Yep. Horse won't listen to anyone but those who plays Epona's song. Yeah, he got rid of it. We'll get it later. Then there's a weird detail of Majora's Mask actually having blood veins, which I found actually really creepy. Then there's this, like, nightmare hallucination. A lot of creepy stuff in the beginning. And there he goes, laughing. Stupid fairy. Also, to just real quickly say, I never found Navi annoying. And I don't find this very annoying, I just find her a little stupid in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Well, they just did leave, so deal with it. <laughs> wasn't dealing with you. Ha, 
<laughs> Anyways, we're now a Deku Scrub. We cannot use our sword anymore. Let's take a look. We have no inventory. We have our shield and sword, but we just can't use them in our current form. Also, the grass moves by itself when you cut it. But that's actually a sign of something else, and we'll get into that later once we get a certain mask. I'm guessing it's Tattle, how you pronounce that? Right, just like Navi, press up on the, uh, on the control, on the C button, and you'll, uh, get some advice from her. Like this. Yeah, with these flowers, we can press A, hold it down, and, uh, we'll be able to fly for a little bit. Also, diving into a flower also protects you from enemy attacks, which is useful in a lot of areas, so just keep that in mind. If I'm correct, nothing important is in those uh, treasure chests that we're going to be using, so I'm not going to bother with them, honestly. Actually, wait. Eh, why not? I'll just show you what's in them. Deku nut. Yeah, for the Deku scrubs when you're flying, you could press B to drop them like bombs. Sort of like flash bombs or whatever. L targeting, of course. Yeah, this tree is creepy. I don't know why they put it here. I think it's just meant to, of course, demonstrate more about L targeting and checking objects, but it's creepy, honestly. Later we learn it seems to be some sort of grave marker or something for the Deku. It's very odd, and I don't understand what exactly it is. Still creepy though. And now we cannot exit. We're stuck here. Forever. Anyway, here's a water wheel. And here's the creepiest character in the game, probably. He, of course, is the Happy Mask Salesman. He was also an Ocarina of Time. Also, it's implied in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D and his mashup that he's actually the same Mask Man from that game. So that's honestly very, very, very creepy. Since he, since that also implies he can travel through dimensions. Right, his theme is sort of weird and chaotic. It's not exactly evil, but it's just sort of chaotic. The anime is honestly must have had a lot of fun with him because he has some crazy animations in this game. Right, and here's the trick of this game. You only have three days to complete it. Well, not in real time. We'll get more into that later, but currently we have about three minutes worth of game time to uh, 
find his precious item and our precious item. And then I think that's about, let's see, 24, 48, 72. I think that's about 36 minutes of in-game time. So let's get out and get started since we have only 36 minutes to complete this whole game.